Hey guys, so welcome back. Tonight I have swatches for you for the February 2020 polish pickup. The theme of the month is flora and fauna. And basically what the theme is, is a bunch of indie makers come together and you, the customer, vote on a theme every month. And that theme, it gets picked and they contribute polishes based on a theme for inspirational pictures related to the theme that they find that they like and inspires them and then they will release the polish for one weekend the first Friday of the month and it some are capped and what a cap is is a limited number of bottles are available and some have no cap and you can buy as many as you want polish pickup also offers um, combined shipping for three dollars within the United States flat rate so if you make like five orders you're gonna pay the shipping each time but when they ship your orders they will refund the difference and you'll only end up paying three dollars and in Canada shipping is a flat five dollars and international those prices do vary so for the month of February, the polish pickup will be going live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, February 7th, and it will run through Monday, February 10th. So why don't we jump into the swatches? I think I hit everything. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment boxes down below, and I will definitely answer them and get back to you. Let's jump into it. The first polish that we're going to look at today is 1850 Artisan Polish, and this is Sedum. Sedum is going to sell for $12.50, and there will be a cap of 150 bottles available. They come in a 15 milliliter bottle, and they were inspired by the Sedum plant. Sedum is described as a thermal polish that transitioned from the softest pale green to a blue green that has a blue multi-chrome effect on the edges. It sparkles with scattered holographic microflakes and also has multi-chrome flakes that shift from emerald to green to gold, rose gold, and pink. The formula is absolutely excellent, goes on very smoothly, very evenly, 1850 never disappoints. It does dry down a little bit dull, so you're going to want to go in with a glossy top coat. Nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. My swatches of sedum are two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from By Vanessa Molina, and this is Ocean is Magic. This is going to sell for $13, and there are 200 bottles available. This was inspired by Rich Marine Fauna. It is described as a turquoise to transparent thermal polish with iridescent flakes representing the sea and its fish reflecting in the sunlight. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on so smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. It did not run, it did not pool, I had no staining. It was very easy to remove and nothing in there is going to try textured. So you won't have any, I already said this, but you won't have any trouble removing it. Um, yeah, this polish is absolutely gorgeous and I think she absolutely nailed the inspiration. It, I can definitely see the sun and the fish reflecting in the sunlight here. Absolutely gorgeous. So my swatches of Ocean is Magic are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. This next product that we're going to have a look at is from By Vanessa Molina again. And this is her contribution to the indie pickup portion of Polish Pickup. This is Peel Off and it's a peel off base coat or you can use it around your cuticles for nail art. It's going to sell for $9. It comes in a 10 milliliter bottle and there are 200 bottles available. This does contain latex, but it is ammonia free. Um, so this is basically a peel off base coat. You apply it to your nails, you let it dry. It's gonna dry clear and that's how you're gonna know it's dry. So then you can apply your polish and your top coat. And usually most of the time swatchers use it for this peel off base coat purpose. So you'll, you know, I take my pictures and when I'm done, um, I just do this. I kind of peel it off. I take a wood stick and I gently be very gentle. You don't want to hurt your nail bed. So gently just kind of get a little bit of a footing and you can just peel it right off with your fingers. You don't have to use the wood stick the whole time. You just kind of want to get enough room so you can just lift it right off your nail. Um, it's definitely does not last very long. I have had it last up for a day 
but those results I do not find to be typical. Generally, this type of peel-off base coat will start popping off your nails in a couple of hours, or you know, if you take a shower, it's nine times out of ten just going to be gone before you're done with your shower or if you're washing dishes. It's just, just going to be gone. Um, it is very, very, very helpful for swatching. And, you know, if you just want to test out a product. But that was the application of it and the peel off. I just wanted to do the quick video to show you. So this next product is from Cupcake Polish and it is called Blue Bonnet. It is going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there's no cap. It was inspired by Texas Blue Bonnets glowing at dusk. And it is described as a medium blue nail polish packed with iridescent shimmer that shifts from pink to gold to green. This polish had an excellent formula. It goes on so smooth and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I had no running or pulling or staining. Nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. It is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I wore this for several days and was just transfixed the whole time. I posted some videos in Cupcake Polishes group where you can see movement and it's just glorious. I highly, highly recommend this product for this month. I love it. My swatches here are three coats of Blue Bonnet and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Cuticula and this is Power Couple. Power Couple consists of her Mic Drop base coat and her Limitless top coat. They are both scented in the scent Hawaiian Punch and they will sell for $16 as a duo. They are only sold as a duo and they were inspired by tropical birds. They do not have a cap, so you can buy as many as you want, and they come in 15 milliliter bottles. This is just a quick application of her Mic Drop Base Coat over my nails, you know, to get yourself a nice clean bed to start off with. It's Mic, this is Mic Drop Base Coat, and it's fantastic. It literally gives you all the benefits of all the base coats in one. It's so awesome. It dries quickly. It's five free. It is a ridge filler. It's a strengthener. It's a sticky base coat. It will help you against staining. It strengthens, so it's going to protect you against breaking and splitting. And it definitely lasts long. It keeps your mani protected and long lasting. Um, this base coat literally el eliminated my need for any other base coat. I still do fancy a few other base coats, but this one is pretty much always on my desk. Um, so what you're seeing here is some nail art that I did to show off Limitless Base Coat, which is the other part of Power Couple. It is also in the Hawaiian Punch scent, and it's also five free. It's quick drying. It has the perfect consistency for the formula. It's not too thick or thin. It does not smear nail art, which you're going to see in a minute. Um, it doesn't shrink. It's never shrink to polish on me. It plays awesome with hollows. It doesn't dull them or anything. It keeps your manicure lasting um, a really long time, especially when you pair it with the mic drop. I've had two weeks E with minimal tip wear. Um, the scent usually will last you at least a day, if not more. And I literally can't say enough good things about it. You know, you see it in every one of my videos. It's the only top coat I pretty much use all the time. I do have a few others that I like, but I always come to this one because I like the scent. It's really fun. Cuticula is also offering a second product for the indie pickup part of Polish Pickup. And this is her Confection Nail Fortifier in the scent Hawaiian Punch. It is going to sell for $8.50 and it comes in a one ounce container this um I, I didn't really talk about the scent but hawaiian punch she nailed it like when you smell this you're going to think of like hawaiian punch there's no other question about it 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 smells perfectly like hawaiian punch um here's a little list of the ingredients in case you were curious you could pause it here and have a look to see what's inside of it but basically what confection nail fortifier is it's a non-greasy creamy formula that's fortified to help keep your nails strong and cuticle soft and moisturized. It gives the perfect amount of hydration, nutrition, with an amazing smell. And a little bit really does go a long way with this product. Um, I typically use a like pretty much what you see there. Um, and I just, I kind of use it as a lotion. But, you know, I always put it on my cuticles. So what this picture is, this is the before picture. This is what my nails look like before, you know, after I take off my nail polish before applying anything. And then I just put a little bit on each nail when I want to use it directly on my nails because they're dry or brittle. 
and then I'll just put a little dab on it like you see here and then I'll rub it in and um, you know so this is just like a during picture um, so I rub it in and it's non greasy like you could just go back to typing like within a few minutes of being done rubbing it in and your hands will look very very nourished and moisturized and you're gonna smell great and this is the after picture so this is what it looks like right when I'm done with putting it in again a side-by-side -side macro picture of before and after you can just see how much more healthier the skin looks and the nail it it just looks so much healthier using this product my nails are all the better for it so this was confection nail fortifier from cuticula in the scent hawaiian punch This next polish is from Dollish Polish, and it is called Life uh, Finds a Way. It's going to sell for $13, and it's going to come in a 15 milliliter bottle, and there's no cap. This was inspired by Dr. Ian Malcolm slash Jeff Goldblum, and it was inspired by the Tala Consorus Goldblum in his natural habitat, lounging seductively. And it is described as an olive cream base packed with red, green, gold, aurora shimmer, micro hollow gl glitter, and flakes, and red to copper to green to gold UCC flakes. Polish had an absolutely excellent formula. It goes on really smoothly and evenly. Stayed right where I put it. I had no running or pooling or staining. It is a green color, but it did not stain my nails. I did wear it for or 24 hours because, I mean, come on, it's Jurassic Park. I had to like wear this I love the movie um, I really loved it it was a gorgeous polish it is not gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove and this was three coats of life uh, finds a way from Dollish polish This next polish is from DRK Nails, and it is called All the Pink Please. It's going to sell for $11.80. It comes in a 12 milliliter bottle, and there will be 150 bottles available. And it was inspired by a pink forest. It is described as a bright fuchsia holographic base mixed with iridescent pink to orange to gold flakes, holographic microflakes, and red shimmer pigment. It's very beautiful and very easy to apply. It goes on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I love the brush on this. It definitely makes for an easy application. I was able to reach opacity in just two coats. It probably could have been opaque in one, but I always like to do two just in case, you know, for photos and stuff, you see a lot of things you wouldn't see in person, but nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. And that was two coats of DRK nails, all the pink, please. Next up is from Esmaltis to Kelly, Butterfly Wings. And this might look familiar to you because it is the one that I used in the peel off base you saw a couple of swatches ago. It is gonna sell for $12. It comes in an 11 milliliter bottle and there are 200 bottles available. This was inspired by Butterfly Wing Images and it is described as a clear base with flaky holographic pink, blue, red, gold, galaxy glitter, navy micro flakies, silver holographic red and orange iridescent flakes. This had a good formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. This will be difficult to remove and it will dry textured, which is why I chose to use the peel off base for it because I am a little bit lazy. Um, otherwise, it had a great formula and the, it, I reached full opacity in three coats. So my swatches here of butterfly wings are three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is Ophidia from Ethereal Lacquer. It is going to sell for $13. It was inspired by snakes and is described as a sheer white milky base with a strong red to copper to green shimmer. And it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. Ethereal Lacquer always has such an excellent formula. Her brush just makes everything apply like... It applies itself. I was able to achieve full opacity in just two coats and nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So this was two coats of Ophidia and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Girly Bits. This is Fireweed. It is going to sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there is no cap. 
This was inspired by Banff National Park in Canada, specifically an image of fireweed by Lake Louise. It is described as a beautiful pastel fuchsia shade that straddles pink and purple. It features a mesmerizing shift that travels from aqua to fuchsia and is laced with aqua to blue to green to pink iridescent flakes and hollow microflakes. This had an excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. There was no pooling, no staining. Uh, it might dry a little bit texture because of those flakes, but it's nothing that's going to be difficult to remove and it is nothing that one coat of a glossy top coat won't take care of. This was two co three coats of fireweed and a glossy top coat. And this next product is a glitter globe pen, also from Girly Bits, and it is their contribution to the indie pickup. It is going to sell for $7.50 and there are only 80 available. It has a rainbow multi-chrome barrel, silver hardware, contains a custom mix of aquatic iridescent glitter in pink, aqua, and purple that float in the clear top half of the barrel. It is nicely weighted in your hand and has a smooth flowing ballpoint tip with black ink. The ink cartridge is replaceable, making the pen more eco-friendly than most disposable pens. This polish wrote very, this pen, not polish, this pen wrote really smoothly and it is very beautiful. If you can get your hands on this one, seeing as the cap is um, 80, definitely go in and get this fast because it's going to go quick. Next up is from Great Lakes Lacquer and this is the greatest gift and honor. It will sell for $13. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle and there's no cap. It was inspired by the Mongolia. The name was lifted from Milan. And the quote is, the greatest gift and honor is having you for a daughter. It is described as a pale, petal, pink, pastel, multichrome with shifts of aqua, lilac, fuchsia, and a bit of gold dancing at the edges. This had an excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I did go in for a third coat, but you probably don't need to do it. I was just being, I think, a little bit fussy, but I do believe it was perfectly fine on its own in two. Um, nothing in there is going to try textured, and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So that was three coats of the greatest gift and honor and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Heather's Hughes, and it is called La Messange de Sophia. It is going to sell for $12.50. There is no cap, and it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. This was inspired by Letta Posil Sophie, commonly known as the white browed tit warbler bird. And it is described as a sweet pink thermal that is heather purple when cold and watermelon pink when warm, filled with iridescent violet to pink to gold to green shimmer and a touch of violet blue flakes that glow in the base. This had an excellent formula. It was smooth and easy to apply. Those flakes stood out really, really lovely in the base. It um, is not going to dry textured or be difficult to remove, and the thermal was nice and reactive. It was a very, very beautiful thermal. So this is three coats of Heather's Hues, La Messange de Sophia, and a glossy top coat. And this next polish is from Jayreen and it is called Blooms of Serenity. It is going to sell for $13 and come in a 16 milliliter bottle. The website does not reflect that there is a cap on this, but I do want to say that I saw updated information that it's going to be either 200 or 250 So be sure to check with the Facebook group for Polish Pickup for the updated information on this because I do believe there's a cap. It's described as a super shifty pastel that shifts violet fuchsia, gold, green, and blue that is infused with a super sparkly base. This had an excellent formula. Jareen always, always has a spectacular formula. It goes on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. It is super, super shifty and absolutely breathtaking. It was opaque for me in three coats. Nothing in there is going to dry textured and nothing will be difficult to remove. So this was three coats of Blooms of Serenity and a glossy top coat. And next up is a Pixie Magic Kit by Jayreen. This is their item for the Indie Pickup. The Pixie Magic Kit, I do believe, is might be capped. I'm not 100% sure, so definitely refer back to the Facebook group just to be safe. Um, it is going to sell for $15, and it is in the Pigment Majestic. 
majestic shifts from copper to gold to green to a lime green almost aqua at extreme angles and what this is is a burnishing kit it comes with the super base the applicator and the pigment the pigment is 0 0.30 grams by weight and all you have to do is apply your base coat your nail polish your top coat wait for it to dry and then when it's dry you apply the super base coat that comes in the kit and then you dip your little finger into the pot or the applicator whichever you prefer I prefer my finger and then I go over it at the end with the applicator just to kind of finalize and buff everything in one last time and you do what you just see me doing here you just burnish it in and when you're done you just go in with your regular top coat you don't need anything special no gel no nothing this is all regular products and you are left with something that is out of this world breathtakingly beautiful and super easy cleanup is also pretty easy I just use a baby wipe and then I finish off the little nooks and crannies inside my cuticles with uh, acetone brush and um, just a regular brush with acetone so that was the Pixie Magic Kit in Majestic. This next polish is from Kathleen & Co. and it is called Grandiflora. It is gonna sell for $11.50 and it was inspired by hydrangeas. There is a cap of 150 bottles and it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. Grandiflora is described as a beautiful pale fuchsia base shifting from blue to purple to pink. This had a wonderful formula. The shimmer on this is absolutely insane. It is so beautiful. It goes on smoothly and evenly. It stays exactly where I put it. There was no application issues like running, pooling, or staining, and nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. My swatches are showing you three coats, I think, of Grandela Flora and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Lily Pad Lacquer, and this is Harlequin Hunter. It is going to sell for $14, come in a 12 milliliter bottle, and there will be 150 bottles available. This was inspired by the Harlequin Fish, and it is described as a seafoam green scattered hollow with green, gold, teal, orange color shifting flakes, and a golden orange shimmer. This had an excellent formula. It went on super smooth and even evenly it stayed exactly where I put it the formula was very easy to work with and I had zero application issues um, nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove I am showing it to you here in three coats without a top coat because the maker asked that we um, not apply the top coat because she likes to see her polish in its natural state however if you do check the polish pickup website you will see some ladies who did top coat and you will see that the top coat brings out that golden orange shimmer so this next polish is from a lollipop posse lacquer and it is the final sacrifice it will retail for $13 there is no cap and it was inspired by Florence and the Machines Rabbit Heart Raise It Up and the cover album the cover art for the album Lungs and it is described as a blue leaning green base filled with multi-chrome an aurora shimmer that shifts red to gold to green and a linear holographic pigment this had an excellent formula it went on very smoothly very evenly I had zero application issues nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove or dry textured so that was the final sacrifice from lollipop lacquer and a glossy top coat next up is another one from lollipop posse lacquer this is their contribution to the indie pickup and it is an effect topper and called this is a gift it is going to sell for eleven dollars and there is no cap and it is described as a flaky topper that is filled with iridescent flakes that shift between green blue and purple with holographic microflakes this had an excellent formula it was a very even to apply on the nail I only needed one coat and I have it shown here over a dark purple this is not going to be difficult to remove and it shouldn't I don't believe it dried textured but if it does it's very slight and your top coat is gonna get rid of it completely and make it nice and glossy so that was one coat of this is a gift and a glossy top coat next up is from pampered polishes and this is called end merry weather 
It is going to sell for $12.50. There are 150 bottles available, and they come in a 13.5 milliliter bottle. It was inspired by Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether from Sleeping Beauty, and it is described as an aqua blue crelly that's packed with a hollow dusting, platinum flakes, gold flakes, gold hollow micro flakes, indigo flakes, red, bronze, copper, ultra warm chameleon flakies, and violet, blue, green, ultra chrome chameleon flakies. This had an excellent formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it zero application issues. Nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove or dry textured. This color is so perfectly me. I love this polish. It is gorgeous and the formula is just the icing on the cake because it's wonderful. This um, was three coats of End Merryweather from Pampered Polishes and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Penelope Luz, and this is Rose Garden. It is going to sell for $11.50, come in a 10 milliliter bottle, and there are 370 bottles available. This was inspired by her mother's rose garden, and it is described as a green olive base with hollow pigment and multi-sized pink hollow glitter. This had an absolutely excellent formula. It went on so smoothly and evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had absolutely no application issues. It um, is going to dry textured and it is going to be difficult to remove because it is a glitter. But it is so worth it because this is a really unique polish and a truly stunning polish. It is absolutely beautiful. It is shown to you here in two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Polished for Days, and this is Seeing is Believing. It is going to sell for $12.50. There is no cap, and it comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. It was inspired by seahorses, and is described as a bright berry pink red jelly packed with pink to orange to yellow iridescent shifting flakes. This polish is absolutely stunning. Stunning. I am not usually a pink person, but I had this one on for a few days and I still didn't want to take it off. It had an absolutely wonderful formula, as always from Polished for Days. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I had absolutely no application issues. There are a lot of flakies in here. It may dry down a little bit textured. I don't recall there being anything, but it's not the texture that is going to make it difficult to remove, and it will be completely gone with just one coat of a glossy top coat. I have it shown for you here in three coats with a glossy top coat. Next up is from Quixotic Polish, and this is Ready for This Jelly. It is going to sell for $12, have a cap of 200 bottles, and it comes in a 12 milliliter bottle. It was inspired by Jellyfish, and is described as a black-based duochrome that shifts from emerald to aqua to royal purple. It had an excellent, excellent formula. It went on super smooth, so easy. It had absolutely zero application issues. It is not going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. And it is so shifty and beautiful. I have seen so many different photos of this and it looks different in each and every photo. It's absolutely gorgeous. This, I reached full opacity in three, but again, that's just me being fussy. I do believe it was perfectly fine in two generous coats on its own and um you're not gonna need the third but sometimes with the photos you just see things that you know because it's so close on a macro lens that you won't see in person so i'll sometimes do three where you're gonna be like why is she doing three but that was three coats of quixotic polish ready for this jelly and a glossy top coat this next polish is from rogue lacquer and it is called see me baby it is going to sell for $12, come in a 13 milliliter bottle, and there will be a cap of 300. It is inspired by succulents, and it is described as a purple toned mauve with lush multi-toned green and blue UCC flakes with scattered hollow speckles. 
this polish is beautiful it went on so smooth so easy it has an excellent formula nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove it will dry a little bit textured but it is not gonna be difficult to remove at all and the application I had no application issues so that was two coats of Succeesimi Baby and a glossy top coat. I'm sorry, I know I murdered that name, but <laughs> I'm awful at pronouncing things. This last polish is from Supermoon Lacquer, and this is Volpes Lagopus. It is going to sell for $12.50, come in a 12 milliliter bottle, and there is no cap. It was inspired by a photograph of an Arctic fox in the tundra, with the polish's name being the Arctic fox scientific name. It is described as a pale blue leaning periwinkle base that's filled with blue to purple and violet to red color shifting shimmer, blue, violet, and white sparks, iridescent blue to purple and rainbow micro glitter, blue and violet pearl micro flakes, and iridescent blue to purple pink color shifting micro flakes. This polish had an excellent formula. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It's exactly where I put it. It was opaque for me in two coats. I had absolutely no application issues. Nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. This is a beautiful, all around wonderful polish and a great way to wrap up February's flora and fauna theme for polish pickup. I hope you liked everything. I thank you for watching i'm sorry for all the weird noises going on in the background if you did hear any i have three dogs in a close proximity and they can be kind of noisy so i let me know what you liked let me know what you're gonna pick up and i will talk to you soon bye guys